Wait, wait, wait. Before you buy Final Cut Pro, just watch this video, okay? release of Final Cut Pro 10, their next installment of the brand new Final Cut Pro series following with the Final Cut Studio suite that it comes included in. So anyway, Apple has named this update of Final Cut Pro their most advanced since they introduced the software back in 1999. And that may seem hard to believe, but for tonight, it wasn't in that case. So anyway, let's get started and let's see what happened for Apple this time in the Final Cut Pro era. First of all, Apple introduced a whole brand new UI for the brand new Final Cut Pro, adopting a very similar look to a very professional looking iMovie with a new timeline, a new bin, and a new viewer that does not need a certain resolution in order to view video and can view anywhere from the standard definition video all the way up to 4K video for high-end professionals. The new Final Cut Pro now utilizes the Grand Central Dispatch which Apple has included in Snow Leopard and can now take advantage of all eight cores in a Mac Pro system when editing and performing tasks. Another, the new Final Cut Pro is finally 64-bit and like the Grand Central Dispatch feature I was talking about earlier, this will now help it run far faster, give it way better benchmarks, and pretty much everything will be way smoother and faster. Also, magnetic timelines have now been introduced into the timeline itself allowing you to not interrupt the flow of audio and video in sync and when you move a long clip on the timeline it will simply move, move one of the other video spots or one of the other audio spots down a level so that way you can continue on with that audio piece or video piece without any interruption. Your film that you now import into Final Cut Pro can now have the option to be stabilized right as it's being imported. This isn't even a feature that you can go into afterwards, I believe, but now you really have a choice in order to stabilize your video just like you do in iMovie. Rendering is officially a thing of the past, which is probably my favorite part of this feature setup, which is now great because background rendering in Final Cut Pro 10 will now enable people in order to just bring their video and audio in and then not even have to worry about rendering because it's all happening in the background, which is great news for people like myself who use Final Cut already and actually take a good bit of time actually rendering the video before we export it. And finally, when will it be available? The new Final Cut 10 will now be available on June in the Mac App Store for a total of $299, which may sound like a lot to a lot of people, but for the people who have been used to the full suite of Final Cut Studio, this is a huge drop from the original $1,000 price tag. And I really am excited to see this, however, I do have to stress that if you already own the full package of Final Cut Studio or if you own Final Cut Express, you cannot upgrade to this current version for a discounted price. And I do not believe that if you own the latest version besides Final Cut Pro 10, if you already upgraded or bought the latest suite of Final Cut Studio, then this may not be your time to upgrade, but maybe if you just save up a little bit, then it will be a pretty good upgrade for you as well. 
So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video I made. I know it seems a little bit rushed, but I really just wanted to get this out there for all of you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thedragonrider. Be sure to like the Facebook page, facebook.com slash dragonridernetwork. And of course, the site is still under construction. We can't wait to see what we can get out for you guys. So anyway, I'm Kyra Mitchell, and that has been... Final Cut Pro 10 in updated version as my first look. I will see you guys later, and I will catch you in the next video. Talk to you then.